How's it going guys? It's Carl here. We're going to be formatting a date slicer in Power BI. Let's go ahead and get started. First thing I want to do is I want to bring in my slicer. Yes, sir. And then with the slicer, I want to add a date. Now we're going to be doing something different this time in formatting the date slicer. Instead of this between date, I want to change this to a date hierarchy. Boom. Now, by changing that to a date hierarchy, what I get now is the year. Let me not delete that. It's the year, quarter, month, and the day. So, with that being selected or that option being available, I can now drop down and say, give me 2018's first quarter. And let's just go ahead and add some dates on the side so we can see what that looks like. So, I want to go here. And I just want to say 2018 first quarter. We see nothing happening in the first quarter, second quarter, nothing, third quarter, nothing, fourth quarter is when things look like they started jumping off. And we can do the same thing for 2019. Just give me all the first quarter dates for 2019. And now we are into some formatting in our date slicer visual. In addition to that, let's go ahead into format our visual to see what more options we have. The first thing we have is the slicer settings. So we have our single select, multi select, and show all. So we can turn this on, and this basically gives us the option to select all the dates. Then we have our single select off, and then we have our multi select on. So if we turn this off, now I can click on multiple dates, and then I can just, or I can just do select all clear selection that's all we have for those slicer settings we have a slicer header we can turn this off if i turn that off that's what it looks like if i turn this on i can just change this name to dates and that's what that would look like we also have the slicer header border so as you've seen in previous videos we can add a border around our slicer header this dates portion right here so we can say top bottom left right and there we also have the background so we can change this color to something like that so now we'll see a color for our slicer then we can go to our values and then our values we can change the font color padding and you can play around with those other options then we have hierarchy level so step layout indication and then we have expand and collapse which gives us this plus and minus or it gives us this correct like that and that ladies and gentlemen how's you format a date slicer in power bi